Alright, hey guys, welcome to my first uh, backstory slash storyline for Metro 2033. Um, this is probably my favorite game of all time, so uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. Um, so, this game uh, takes place 20 years after this big nuclear attack that has left the surface um, hostile and just uninhabitable in any way, shape, or form. Luckily, before uh, the nuclear strike, um, there was a bunch of humans that were able to retreat to the metro stations and survive and uh, be able to live on. The uh, main character in this game, the character that you play as, is um, our team. Our team is from this uh, smaller metro station known as Exhibition. Um, the the game starts off by um, our team, or not our team, um, Hunt, Mil, ah, our team's father's friend Hunter coming to visit you, and uh, immediately the station, the metro station is attacked by this new breed of mutants known as the Dark Ones or Homo Novus. Uh, after the attack, um, Hunter says, there's only one way to stop this attack, and that is to take his dog tag to Polis, show the High Council, and ask them for help, and ask them to end this threat. Um, after a long, hard journey to uh, the southern station named Briga, uh, you were quickly, you were handed off to this main character named Bourbon. Bourbon teaches you all about how to survive in the metro and also how to survive on the surface world. Um, after Bourbon's after Bourbon's tra tragic death in uh, Dry Station, you're handed off to Khan. Khan teaches you more about the depth of um, and more of the depth and the spirituality of what's happening in the metro stations, and so on. Um, after being captured by Nazis, uh, you are saved by another um, ranger named uh, Omen. Omen uh, then takes you to um, Polis, where you meet the head ranger Miller. Miller takes you to the council, to so that you can so that our team can ask, uh, or our team can ask, um, you know, can you help us? Can you end this threat? Can you do something about this? Uh, to where the, the council says, no, I'm sorry, we cannot do that. Miller is disgusted and says that he knows of a preserved nuclear station known as D6. D6, uh, once finding more information out about D6 and uh, getting to D6 and preparing the missiles, you are given the guidance system and you immediately head to the top of this very high building in order to place the guidance system and to uh, attack the, attack the uh, Dark One's nest. Um, but the game does not end there. There is another. There is this mutant that you see throughout the whole game that comes and tries to stop you. After a little run fest, I would say you eventually uh, shoot him down and you kill him. Uh, and you know the ending is good. You know missiles just fly in, boom, boom, blows everything up. Metro stations are saved. Um, this game was really good. I'm just gonna give my quick little review. I thought this game was really good. Uh, probably my favorite game. Um, my only two things is that like some of the voice acting and some of the stuff I think they could have done a little bit better. Uh, but other than that, it was a great game. Um, I, I would definitely recommend it if you would want to buy it, and especially if you're gonna buy Metro Last Light uh, to kind of know the um, you know before beforehand details. Uh, so yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll see you in the next video, and bye.